human rights groups and activists have urged South Korean President Yoon suk yeol to intervene and to stop China from forcefully repatriating more than 100 North Koreans, warning that they could be put in labor camps and face torture. The plea, after, the plea came after reports that Beijing had sent back hundreds of North Koreans, mostly women. Lim Yoon suk has more from Seoul. Kim Sung-min is a North Korean defector who came to South Korea in 1995. Saying that he was speaking on behalf of the 35,000 North Koreans living in South Korea, Mr. Kim told the foreign media in Seoul that they were anxious for the North Koreans in China as they now face the prospects of being sent back to North Korea. Persons forcibly repatriated from China to the DPRK are regularly sub subjected to torture and arbitrary detention and in some instances also to rape in forced disappearance to political prison camps summary execution and other gross human rights violations. China and North Korea share a long border, and it's also a route that many North Korean defectors take in their quest to escape the isolated country. For decades, China has had a policy of deporting North Koreans who illegally enter its territory. As North Korea reopened its borders in August, after more than three years of COVID-induced isolation, reports of the forced repatriations from China are again attracting attention. Human rights groups say earlier this month, China sent back about 600 North Koreans after the Asian Games in China. South Korea's Unification Ministry told reporters at a briefing on Monday that it was aware of the situation. 뭐 여러 가지 상황에 대해서 협의하고 있고 또 외교 채널을 통해서 어 그러한 일이 재발하지 않도록 다각적인 노력을 드리고 있다는 말씀을 드리고 구체적인 상황까지 확인해 드리긴 좀 어렵다는 점을 양해해 주시기 바랍니다. South Korea has repeatedly asked China not to deport North Korean defectors. While China acknowledges the existence of North Koreans who they say entered the country illegally for economic reasons, officials say the country has been handling this issue responsibly based on Chinese and international laws and in accordance with the spirit of humanitarianism. Lim Yang-suk, CNA, Seoul.